Hello, good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and today we are going to be going over the roadmap livestream that was hosted on the World Warships Twitch channel yesterday. Now, in this livestream, the World Warships team went over the upcoming events, additions, and changes to the game for approximately the next six or so months. They broke it up into sections talking about, you know, this is going to happen in the spring, summer, fall, so forth, and so on. So we're going to go over each section and talk about the big announcements in each section. We won't hit on every single small thing, but just the major things that will be pretty interesting to talk about. Now, they didn't really mention one way or another what exactly is happening with the Yorktown. They were asked about it, and all they really said is that she's coming out and more information will be out you know, soon, TM. And no word on NFTs either from my predictions video from yesterday. I do think NFTs are going to eventually make their way into the game for the reasons that I gave in yesterday's video. And I kind of delve into the history of Wargaming and NFTs in yesterday's video as well. So go check that out if you want to know more about that. So, starting off the spring of 2022. Rogue Wave will be returning in the spring. This is the steampunky battle royale kind of game mode where players could earn the Benham. They didn't say one way or another if Benham would be returning as well in the Rogue Wave event. Benham turned out to be quite the potent destroyer once she was given away in the event. And she hasn't returned since then. So no word on that. They did also mention, of course, the Atlanticos coming in the upcoming dockyard. That's that crazy Pan-American super dreadnought monstrosity that I can't wait to get my hands on. Now, some really big news was a new tech tree beyond just the Italians. So after the Italian destroyers, we are getting a French cruiser split. Now, they didn't mention one way or another what type of cruisers they were. They did say that in next week's live stream, we will receive more details about them. But right now, all we know is that it's a split. And they said we'll, uh, we will be getting three new ships, but yet in the graphic, they show four. And we can't really make out one way or another what they are. It seems that people theorize that these are like protected cruisers and potentially kind of mini Jean Bards and Richelieu's with turrets all for the superstructure. But again, you can't make out too much from the image that they give us. And what's really funny too is that on the artwork, uh, the French cruisers appear to be on the top and on the bottom we see the Italian destroyers next to the French flag. And we know this because, of course, we know what the Italian DDs look like. And, you know, one set of ships is clearly destroyers. And one set of ships are clearly cruisers. So, yeah, French cruiser split. That's very, 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 very interesting. If they are protected cruisers, that would be an even more interesting approach. Because the French cruisers are already heavy cruisers. Before the introduction of super ships, the Henri IV had the biggest guns on a cruiser in the game. But now, of course... You know, they're kind of just large now. So it'll be interesting to see if they go even heavier with these protected cruisers, or if they might turn out to be light cruisers, cruisers for all we know, too. But again, apparently we'll be receiving more information about that next week. Also, too, they're introducing a new kind of mini game in the game called Sea Battle, which is essentially Battleship. You know, you place your ships, and you have to choose a grid square, and you, you miss or you hit. So that's interesting. Uh, new map is of course coming out. We've already known about this. Apparently that's going to be coming out sometime around the spring. So that's great. Finally a new map in the game. And a new game mode will be coming to random battles in the spring. And that is Arms Race. That I'm so happy they're finally adding in Arms Race into random battles. Finally, a fourth new mode in random battles. The last new mode we got was Epicenter, which was forever ago. So finally, a, a breath of new life into random battles, and I cannot wait. Arms Race is a really, really, really fun mode. I really enjoy it, and I know a lot of you guys do too, so I'm very glad that's going to be coming out. Also, we will be getting some more graphical improvements, apparently now on snow maps. Snow and ice will be able to fall, in the case of snow, and accumulate on the ships, in the case of ice, on your ship, on the deck, on the guns, on the railings, and that's... That should look really, really, really good. And also they're improving the shadow engines as well for the game. So art department, again, carrying the game. All right, let's move on to the next section. 
All right, guys, so for Summer 22, we have some absolutely monumental additions and changes to the game. So, first off, British Battle Cruisers will be coming sometime around Summer 2022. This is something that I, I, do, I do think, like they said on stream, this is probably one of the most requested and most highly anticipated lines in the game. Now, that's about all they told us. All they said was that they're coming in summer 2022, and we'll see some familiar names in the tech line. So, I would imagine, of course, um, Sister Ship to Repulse, maybe even the really crazy, uh, I can't remember what, uh, what it was, G3 uh, Battlecruiser might be the Tier 10. I'm very excited for that, and again, they said... They'll release more information about them in the future. We'll probably start hearing about them, I'd imagine, probably spring of 2022. So, absolutely just great. Great, 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 great. Again, I think a lot of players saw this coming when the German battle cruisers got added into the game. Naturally, how can you have the Germans get battle cruisers in the game and not the British shortly thereafter? So, look like it'll be um, Pan Asian cruisers, Italian destroyers, French cruiser split. Then British battle cruisers. Very, 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 very happy about this. But again, they didn't really say too much, so that's about it for that. Um, also, the U.S. destroyer line is finally getting their long-awaited and long-promised um, model update. They're one of the few older um, ships in the game that haven't had their models touched up. I do think the American battleships haven't really had too much done with their models either, so hopefully they'll get some upgrades uh, as well in the future so that's good for all of you u.s destroyer enjoyers out there um convoys is also coming back too i really enjoyed the convoys game mode they said they're tweaking it a little bit in terms of the route that the ships will take and by then submarines should be back in the game so maybe they'll make it to where you know the attacking side has submarines attacking and the side defending is limited to maybe mostly dds some light cruisers and maybe let me a light cruiser and like a heavy cruiser too and a battleship. Um, battleship was didn't do too much convoy escorting during the uh, Second World War. A little bit at the beginning with the Americans, but not much. But again, it is a video game, so hopefully we'll see that. Uh, they are going to have an event for July 4th, of course. So, Americans, yay. America's birthday. Um, and then another huge announcement that I didn't really see coming, and I didn't really uh, hear much about this either. They're going to... Well, I, I did hear about this, but I didn't think they meant it as literally as they meant it. They're going to separate the economy and the exteriors for the ships. Now, at first, that sounds really spooky, but once they explain it, it actually sounds like a really good uh, idea, and really, it's in, in greatly in favor of the player. So, essentially, let's say you have a Spring Sky camo, one of the best booster camos in the game. But you don't like the way it looks because it's all, you know, looks like a, a, a carpet in like your grandma's house or a couch in your grandma's house. But you have, let's say, an iron cross camo and you really like the way the iron cross camo looks on your ship. Well, now you can run the iron cross camo, but have the economic booster from the sp spring sky camo on your ship. So it's greater choice for the player. You get to choose what your ship looks like, and you get to choose whatever economic boost goes along with that camo. Now, when this first popped up on the screen, I thought, oh my god, they're they're removing the economic boost from camos, but thankfully that, that's, that's not it. So, if that's truly what it is, then that's a huge improvement in putting a lot of more customization options in the player's hands. Because, again, so many players run certain camos because of the economic boost. doesn't matter if it turns your ship into a crocodile or just, you know, a yellow school bus. They just want that those economic boosts. But now you can have your ships look like whatever you want them to look like and still get that economic boost from that camo. So, I like that. I like that a lot. And that's, again, all this should be happening sometimes around the summer of 2022. Now, they did say it's a pretty big technical thing, removing the economic boost from the camos. So that might get pushed back a little bit. But again, it, this is just kind of a ballpark of when we should see these features start to get into the game. All right, let's go on to the next section. Oh, joke's on me. The uh, rest of the stream was just them doing it over again, but in Russian. All right, so the big takeaways from this are, of course, the introduction of a French cruiser split, which, again, 
I mean, yeah, I can see that. The French Cruisers have been out for some time now. Uh, they came out, shoot, I think a little while after I started um, playing the game and a little bit before I started doing YouTube. So it's kind of weird thinking of those ships as old. But again, splits are cool. I like that it adds more variety to the game and it uh, fleshes out the tech lines a bit more. Um, the, of course, massive announcement with the British Battle Cruisers. Again, I cannot wait to see what those things are like. Um, again, I think they've got a good formula going with what we see in the Incomparable and the Repulse. If they keep that going with the British Battle Cruisers, uh, you know, big guns for their tier, but very, very, very thin armor, but very, very, very mobile and agile ships, I think they've got a winning combination there. Um, and going back to the Spring. New game mode, adding an arms race. Again, that's a huge thing for random battles, and hopefully we'll start to see more of those game modes get added in. Maybe, again, convoys, asymmetric battles. Um, if they're not going to do a random game mode of the week, like I've said a bagillion times they need to do, throwing these in random battles is probably the next best place for them. It adds a lot more variety into the game. I mean, again, we've been playing the same three game modes for how long now? Five years, six years? So new game modes and randoms is a big, big, big pickup. Uh, visual improvements, they did go back and clarify that it's snow, sand, rain, and um, an improvement to shadows. So again, excellent, excellent news. I like to see more detail in the game. I think the game's really, really pretty as is, especially for a game that's, um, shoot, six years old now. So them updating the graphics is always a, a plus. And again, I'm a graphics host, so I like to see really, 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 really how pretty the game can be. Uh, the sea battle game mode, where it's basically like literally battleship and wood warships, I think that's a pretty cool thing. That'd be a pretty neat mini game to play. I don't know exactly how it's going to work. They didn't share too much details on on that, but I mean, hey, need more content, good content. Well, more content isn't always good content, but more content's always welcomed, especially if it's good content. Uh, the Convoys game mode, I'm really interested to see what they do with that. I think they'll be seriously missing an opportunity if they don't allow submarines, you know, kind of like asymmetric battles. So you add, I don't know, eight or nine submarines on the, on the enemy team that has to sink the convoy and maybe uh, some surface ships too. And then the um, protecting side has mostly surface ships like destroyers and light cruisers, heavy cruiser, maybe a battleship or two to protect the convoy. Um, it'll be a great historical game mode with some good fun available. And again, I think they're missing a big opportunity if they don't work submarines in there somehow. They're, they're literally perfect for it. So again, economy and exterior separation, I think that's a again a massive thing that's very, 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 very in favor of the players. You get to choose more with what your ship looks like and the economic bonuses you want to run on it. They didn't say if they're going to apply the combat bonuses as well, so the you know the increased dispersion that's fired at your ship and the decrease in detection, although that is fairly standardized over every single camo in the game, so I don't see an issue happening there. But yeah, I, I do like the way that this sounds. Now, what I would like to know is how are you going to get the economic bonuses? Like if you have, let's say, I don't know, 20 Spring Sky camos, Am I going to be able to use the Spring Sky Camo Economic Boost 20 times? I mean, that seems pretty straightforward, at least. Um, I, again, they, they didn't elaborate on that any, but I would like to see more information about that. So overall, I would say this presentation was fairly good. I wish they would have gone into a little bit more detail on each topic, but I do understand that these are projects that are literally half a year away, especially when talking about these uh, summer planned um upgrades and content addition into the games but again i do think that it's very good that they are going through this and saying hey look this is what we've got planned over the next six months letting the community in on what's to come so great thing here i do wish to see more of this from, from wargaming maybe they'll do another six months update sometime in june or july and let us know what's going on with that so let me know what you guys think about all these uh updates and new content addition and changes into the game. Let me know what you guys think about all these in the comments down below. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 35,000 subs. You just passed 33,000 yesterday, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.